it's Henry. And it's Jacob. And today, we're going to be showing off and talking about the new the Lord of the Rings Rivendell. So, yeah, this set is $500, coming out on March 5th for VIPs, March 8th for non-VIPs. And I might buy this on release day. There's a chance. Um, I, We'll have to see what happens, but I could be at the Lego store because it does release on a weekend. And I'm super hype on this set. We definitely would be there, potentially. And if we look at the box on this next one here, you can see that it is a black box. And surprisingly, or not really surprisingly, but they have the yellow icons, uh, little grables at the bottom. I think Griebling. Griebling at the bottom. And I love these 18 plus style box. This box is absolutely huge if you see it in real life. It is, um, I obviously I haven't, but I've seen like YouTube videos about it. It is absolutely massive, so really, it would be a really fun one to pick up at the Lego store. Imagine trying to huck that thing around the mall, but, um, we also, there's some really cool details on the set. If we look at the 360, so from other angles, this thing looks spectacular. You can see at the, the right there, they have that little gazebo area. I love how that looks, like, just that extra detail. It is an open back. I love how everything's a little module. That tree is, like, exactly, that green one is exactly what people wanted in the A-frame cabin. Love how, what they did with that and how great it looks from the front. I might, uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to buy. I think this one has a very large price tag. Yeah, but for 6,100 pieces, that's fair. Yeah, I guess and so. And those all look, like, decently sized pieces. Like, there's no tiny pieces in there. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. It's a big boy. But, um, the I interior like the doesn't look amazing, but it looks, but that's not what I'm buying it for, so I don't care. Uh, I could definitely see people buying two of these and buy and making like a huge Rivendell. Like, I, I, think, I can. I think it's like already huge. So. I can totally see people buying two and modularizing it. And then there is a good minifigure selection, which we will get to. Another nice view there of the front. I love the tile work they use on that roof. Yeah, I think that looks very good. I think. I mean, I'm not sure if it's accurate to the. It is movie or show. Um, but I think it looks great, and you can see in this next one here, you can see the back again. It actually has an under area for that gazebo area. I like that. that. Looks it like... looks to be like a weapons room. I love all the elf figures. I don't know too much about Lord of the Rings. There are like 15 or 16 I did read The Hobbit, this. so I don't know if this has anything to do with that, but we also have the interior here, which actually looks pretty cool. It does look good, yeah. And then in here, we have the first little module, so it splits into three modules. It's just like the main one. It's got the uh, little... So that table actually goes right there where the um, yellow thing is. But it also can be taken off. And it's got like a little meeting area for the um, Lord of the Rings people, like the elves. And it's got a nice little tree there, which looks a little bit square-like. I like it. I think that's like a There's very no problems good with tree. it. I think it looks great. And then also this beautiful... That's a great tree. Green tree. And also some nice little details and I guess greebling you could say. Then on this next one, we have a really cool little side view. And this one is the gazebo. Uh, I think this is great. I think it mixes, like, some uh, some bright colors with some non-bright colors, which I like. I love the building technique there with the, um, uh, I guess, life preserver pieces, if you really look close. Oh, I do see those, yeah. Um, they're, like, on the gazebo, and you can see that those trees are very well done. I think these are the best trees that we've seen in a set in a very long time. Very well done. And then we also have this waterfall area. So, very c clean. Um, I, th That would be great in the campground, possibly. Yeah, even <clears throat> just, like, taking that off and putting it in the campground. And you could also have the gazebo in the uh, campground. There, the gazebo does go right next to that um Very awesome that tree. there. And, yeah, this is definitely probably being my forest, cause, or amusement park, maybe, until I get the Joker Manor. But then, here we have the uh, little statue there, which you can recreate a pretty iconic scene from The Lord of the Rings. And then down here, we have some more details, like the roots of the tree. And I I like that you can, there's a little entrance down there, um, leading to the thing. It looks like uh, there's a door. It's pretty cool. And then we also have them sitting at the meeting table, so awesome detail. And here's this guy sleeping. So we have his bedroom, bedroom, which is a very cool detail. I love this room right here. Right next to this little chamber. And then we also have, um, like, a writing space here. Like a little office, you could say. Shows how it splits into all these different sections, which is awesome. And it also shows the back of the box here, which is very nice. 
and you can see on the next one there is uh, a real life one you can see that lady is playing with the set and you can see just how big it is there which is awesome and it's also right there so it takes up that whole desk so that's a really good one right there and i like how long it is uh so it shows all the minifigures i think there's 16 that come with this set it yeah so like... they all look very awesome and i do love um how they have the elf ears and I can't name them all for you because I don't know too, too much about Lord of the Rings, but it looks great. As you can display see, this person's displaying from it from behind, which... Yeah, I would not do that, but if that's what sparks your interest about this set, definitely do that. So, keep in mind, it will also come with this little VIP Dobby thing. Oh, it's not going to show me there, but also with this, we're also going to get the brick heads here. So, these are already a set. But they're going to give it to you for free if you actually get the Rivendell on release day from 3.5 to 3.7. So it's only for the VIP early access. And I think this is good. I mean, you're spending $500, so you might as well just get something out of it. Yeah, so also if you have like, also the VIP points you get will also be able to get your free brickheads. So you can basically get the full set of brickheads for 20 bucks if you buy this. So... Because you, you you'll get enough VIP points to buy the $20 ones. You'll get these for free, and then you'll have to buy one. But if you want the full Lord of the Rings set, I would definitely wait till you buy this set. Because the a great way to do it, and I will probably be doing that. So I, I like how this looks. It's a very good idea, and I love how they did this with this promotional item. And so thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to come back next time. Woo!